Tell me what you just heard and tell me if any of that resonated with you. It would be hard to, I guess, you know, stepping back and looking at your manager position and everything. And now we have to take that hat off and put on the mentor hat. Right. You know, when we're so used to being in the manager position and having to fix things fast, quick, you know, be be the problem solver. And now we need to step back and listen. I think that's the way that initial conversation goes, Anthony. You have yep. to basically say it just like that. Yep. I have been a manager that's been very proactive, uh, opinionated, uh, giving you answers. I'm supposed to provide you solutions. I'm sure, okay, now I need to put a different hat on and just say it the way you just said it. Just let them know I'm practicing a different hat. All right. And so let's, let's take a look at a little bit of a definition. Okay. Mentoring is a structured and supportive relationship in which a more experienced or knowledgeable individual provides guidance, advice, and support to a less experienced or knowledgeable individual with the goal of helping helping the mentee overcome challenges, set and achieve goals, and navigate their personal and professional journey more effectively. Now, the goal is to accelerate the, 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 the mentee's learning. That's what Haley pointed out, okay? And develop the and development by tapping into the experience of the mentor, the wisdom and expertise, ultimately helping them reach their potential and achieve success. However, having said all that, let's keep in mind that the way that that's done is not by me imparting what I know, but it's primarily by helping to find out what is it that you think we ought to do, okay? How do you think we ought to fix it? How do you think your people would say, have you talked with your people? And see, that's an answer that a lot of mentees don't, don't do. I come talk to my mentor, I talk to my manager, but I haven't talked to my people about it because I too am not very close to them. And I don't, I, I, I haven't, I haven't learned to tap into them, okay? Now, have you guys ever heard of this, what's called reverse mentoring? Reverse mentoring is a fancy title for what we have been describing here. Reverse mentoring. You see, mentoring is usually la one, one direction. Reverse mentoring is, is, is back and forth. All right. And so the idea of reverse mentoring is what we talked about earlier, is that I educate, I support you, I educate you, you support me, I educate me. But it's primarily the relationship of me providing support and you educating me on what's going on out there. OK, so what I, a mentor is usually this third party individual right here. OK, the, that one right there. All right. That I have a relationship with my supervisor up, up and down. But my mentor is this guy or this gal who trains me in another department. Look, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Just because you have a mentor relationship with your supervisor doesn't mean you can't have a trainer who's also providing you a mentor. In other words, I can have a mentor who's not my manager. OK, but the goal of this is, is so that my, my manager is also my mentor. The person above me also becomes my mentor. The goal being is that right now we have almost three types of relationships. Those mentors that are not our managers, you should have plenty of those. My encouragement to you always is, it should always be, I, my, my encouragement to you is you should always be looking for mentoring relationships. Everyone needs a mentor, a friend officially or unofficially that can provide mentoring help without necessarily being their manager. So that's one relationship. The second relationship is one of my manager who's not a mentor. He's just a manager. He doesn't know how to put the two different hats on, okay? That's what we want to move away from. The third one is the answer, and that is my manager who is a good mentor, okay? Who basically plays the role of that third-party individual, but he happens to be the person above me.